from the Christian View where we're discussing the modern day fountain of youth. Rebecca, this, this show's getting away from us and we haven't <laughs> even talked about what the sun does to us. That's you right. know, there's a certain amount of sun that's great for us. Yeah. There's too much sun that ages us. Yeah. And we haven't talked about what drinking and smoking and mm -hmm. those things definitely do age us. Yeah. Just research it, you'll see it really does age us. Yeah. But and sugar. Mm -hmm. yes. There we go. Yeah. You know, there's just a lot of things. But yeah. let's talk. A little, let's talk about what God. Because Re Rebecca and I found the fountain of youth, and at yeah. the end of the show, we're going to share that with you, so you don't have to keep looking for yeah. fountains Thank of you. water. <laughs> we we did find it. But what like does God you. say? about aging. Yeah, well, I think he honors aging to the point that he says, don't even rebuke an older man. I found wow. that scripture in the Bible. And he says in Psalm 16, gray hair is a, a crown of splendor, Cameron. Yes. You got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> crown him. Attained by a righteous life. So God honors uh, and aging we know, and, we and know older wisdom. for the most part, wisdom yeah. comes right. with aging. Yes, yes, it does. Yeah, and it, in the Bible also, or not the Bible, but we say we don't retire, we just refire. That's we right, just yeah. keep oh, going in the Lord. Oh, I like yeah. that, that right. too. That's right. yeah. My goodness. Because of ret retirement, I, actually, that mindset, you shouldn't have it as a Christian because yeah. you, you really never retire. And we it's already, uh, uh, when you take a look at, at all of what's or, what already out there, you're dealing with, as soon as somebody gives up their purpose or, mm -hmm. or, or stops to work, that's when everything else that's comes right. in and that aging and that death comes comes in. And so right. we need to stay active and, and have something to do. Yeah. But don't you think the older we get, the wiser we get, the less we worry about Yes, we do. I think we, um, we just don't take it all as seriously my parents, as we I do. Think when they got older, um, my mother was always such a refined woman, you know, as far as um, speaking and having a good filter. But as she got older, she just started shooting straight from the hip, you know, <laughs> like whatever. She came get up, away yeah, with it, you know, and she's it was, old. yes. And I think you know that we that as you get older, people do they get more relaxed mm -hmm. and they don't and they and they're to the point that where they just basically you know trop, trying to put on all the airs yeah. and they just really are being honest and genuine. But I think Ecclesiastes speaks best to us about aging when it tells us to remember now our creator in the days of our youth. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when the evil days come, you know, we will have already mm -hmm. done as much for God so that when we yeah. get old, you know, and our bodies are breaking down right. and things are happening, we really can't do for God like we want to. Yeah. So I think that's the wisdom in it. You know, as we get, as we grow, I think we need to keep Christ first. Trudy, I heard, I was, tell, I was sharing this with my daughter-in-law. Let me get this right now. Okay. The, for women, well, men too, mm -hmm. the afternoon already knows what the morning never expected. That's wise, that's, that's yes. wisdom very, in very, it. Very yes. wise. And very I, wise. I like that, you know. When we're young, we just, things come at us for the first time. Right. Yes. And, you know, mm -hmm. but later on in life, when yes. we see those things coming, they don't, we know there's a lot worse that's coming. Right. Yes. <laughs> but as, as, as younger people, we need older people to stay sharp that's true and to right. stay in the Word so that they can direct us, like yes. you said, because they've been down that path before. Yeah. And mm -hmm. they can offer us wisdom and guidance and direction yeah. Yeah. and hope mm -hmm. for when we feel like there is none. They can come and say, you know what, I'm going to stand up beside you. I'm going to walk you through the this. The ones speak. that will listen. Right. Matt. Right. <laughs> There's true. Um, the, oh, she's, oh, she doesn't know what she's talking right. about. Well, listen, my, one of my favorite scriptures is where David said, I have been young and oh, now I'm old. Too. Yeah. Too. And I've never seen the righteous That's forsaken. Right. That's right. This, this is what age does. I'm yes. reading through the book of Joshua uh -huh. and there's a scripture in there that, that after the wars were done, God gave them peace on every side. Mm -hmm. He subdued their enemies and it says every promise that he made came to pass. Amen. When you're young, you haven't had enough time to collect the data right. in oh, yeah. your right. mind. You've seen God come through a few times, mm -hmm. but when you get older, oh. you can look back and say, That's good. there were so many times I yes. thought I was toast mm -hmm. right. yes. and right. God came through. And mm -hmm. I think as, as you get older, that, that rest and trust builds up to the I point where you. you just yes, go, I've, I've been through God's worse got than this. God, God, God has taken care He's of got this. He's got yes. this. Titus 2 model in mm -hmm. the Bible right. where exactly. the older women That's pour right. into the younger yes. women. That's and right. if you're yeah. a younger woman out there, you need an older woman in your life mm -hmm. who's guiding you and helping you. And the word of the Lord. And that's part of the need and use of each other in that you have the older ones that are now handing down and causing that anxiety to dissipate in the young. And so they can actually do the right thing 
younger than those that were older before them. Yeah. Yeah. And I think once we understand that use of each other, right. then all of it works together and we get to where we're supposed to go. In. Right. So good. But it takes, it takes all of life's events. Matt, you're so right. It takes all of the events that we go through in our life because it's little by little, each thing builds our faith a little bit more. And then the next thing builds our faith a little bit more. It does not come all at one time. That's right. It doesn't. I mean, it would be wonderful if it did. Mm -hmm. But that's just not the way it works, Rebecca. That's right. We couldn't handle it. And so we mm -hmm. need that wisdom and, and God to open the door step by step and for us yes. to be led by the Spirit and learn as we grow. And mm -hmm. there is nothing like that wisdom and that experience, life experience. And I think too, Trudy, it's the younger people mm -hmm. that are watching us. Right. Yes. They are watching the older the older ones. They're watching how we handle these things. They are. Yeah. They're, and they're, they're watching to see if we try to fix it ourselves or if we give it to God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they're and they're gonna they're gonna they're kind of they're gonna copy us. They are. Mm -hmm. They're gonna copy us. That's how their faith's gonna that's grow. That's right. That's how that's how they're gonna learn and grow well, and develop. It'll work for her, so maybe it'll you know right. it'll work for me too. Mm -hmm. That's so true. But this is this is all this is all God. This this is when you're in the word of the Lord. Yes. <laughs> this is not when just someone out in the world who knows nothing about the Lord tries to guide you because they're older. <laughs> right, right. That's, right. That's not going to yeah. work well, out. You know, that, the word says it this way. I mean, obey your parents in the Lord. Right. Yes. You know, sometimes, in the Lord. Sometimes yeah. we That's think it just means obey your parents. Right. No, it's your parents in the Lord. Now you're yeah. supposed to honor, honor. your right. mother and father. Right. They may not be in the Lord, but yeah. you should follow those that are in the Lord. That and they are, they are spiritual parents that God gives you in order to get you back onto the right track mm -hmm. as to being the family of God, not the family of man. Powerful. And that's what we need to understand. Because just oh, yeah. because you're old does not mean you're wise. That's, that's right. right. <laughs> and, I, and Psalm 1 says, blessed is the man that walks in the mm -hmm. counsel of, of the, the ungodly. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, that the walks godly. not in the, the counsel, counsel of the ungodly, ungodly right. but mm -hmm. in the counsel of the godly. Yes. Yeah. And the wise. His delight is in the law yeah. of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We should be praying for opportunities yes. to mentor and to be mentored. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. if mm -hmm. you're not mentoring anyone right now, we should be praying that the well, Lord will bring somebody into our life to mentor. And if you don't have one, pray that the Lord will bring the right person in. Sure. We pray that we're mentoring to millions. Yes. That yes. wouldn't that be wonderful, Trudy? Right. It would be yeah. it would be amazing. Amen. Wouldn't it? Yes. If we could yes. just give someone at home some wisdom here. Some, yes. And some hope. And we are, mm -hmm. because God's using yeah. the show right. in such a huge way, Matt. Mm -hmm. there's, you know? a, there's a scripture where uh, in Psalms where uh, the, the writer says that he's like a tree in the house of the Lord, mm -hmm. yeah. that even in old age, he's mm -hmm. still producing. Right. Yes. Isn't that Amen. wonderful? Yeah. This is good stuff. Yeah. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Yeah.